Yesterday, both the department and the attorney general filed civil actions against uh, the coalition, uh, including uh, Ms. Carr and some of the, the board of directors. Uh, those are independent actions moving forward, and I would refer you to uh, the individual pleadings if you want to know the legal basis, but essentially the Attorney General is trying to preserve evidence and money. The, uh, uh, the Inspector General, the Governor's Office, or the Department is uh, trying to re retrieve money. Our investigation, however, is not complete. Uh, we still don't know why or how this was allowed to happen. Uh, the committee is continuing to collect and review documents, including documents we are receiving from DCF, regarding possible co-conspirators inside the, part, the department prior to 2013. A new subpoena to Tiffany Carr was executed by the speaker on Tuesday, seeking her testimony and to examine all coalition records and property in her possession. We have attempted to serve Ms. Carr in the past. Uh, we have attempted to serve her at the business address where she is listed as a registered agent, but that, that service was refused. We have attempted to serve her personally at her Port St. Joe, Tallahassee, and North Carolina homes unsuccessfully. Her Florida domicile, home, homestead, and voting address is uninhabitable, uninhabitable due to storm damage. Her home in North Carolina, where she's believed to be staying, is in a gated community, and guards have refused access uh, of the process servers. House Rule 16.4, subsection B, requires that we serve house subpoenas in the same manner required to serve a summons and a civil action, which means personal service. Despite our best efforts, we've been unable to do that. In a civil proceeding, which this is not, special service may be ordered by the court in our case. Uh, this house sits as the court. I would therefore ask to be recognized for a motion regarding exceptional service of the subpoena. Mm -hmm.